All right, it is July 1st, 2025, and I'm here to show you uh, just how magical physics can be, especially electromagnetic field theory. So what I decided to do is create an instrument, or a series of instruments based on different configurations of coils. And these coils also have particles which have different properties that go and travel along its electromagnetic field. So basically this is a field synth, as I call it, an electro EM field synth. And I can do a lot of things here. Like I can change, I've set it so uh, I can change a lot of the properties here, including the field strength. So this is all done in JavaScript, by the way. Again, P5JS. Um, there's a lot of power in this uh, tool here. but like, So what I can do is I can rotate this coil around, as you can see. And uh, the particles are like bouncing out of the screen. And I can also change the color scheme, too. So you can see I can have the cool, really cool blue color scheme, uh, a green color scheme, a red color scheme, a magma color scheme. And so the physical geometry of these uh, coils kind of defines a lot of how strong the field is and how large it's going to be and how powerful and also the sound. And as you can see, I can really boost up the field strength to get a very powerful sound out of this. Now, as you can see, I think I went kind of crazy, crazy with this. Um, and I created different kinds of coils too. So the interesting thing is that, so here's a Helmholtz coil. The Helmholtz coil is a famous type of coil uh, that's used in physics, named after a famous physicist who was um, known for a lot of his energy equations, Helmholtz. Um, and as you can see, I now have this solenoidal coil. So this solenoidal coil, sort of like a solenoid, you know, not quite, but sort of. And so I can change the particle lifetime and the particle count to be larger. And as you can see, I can expand the particles very dramatically and create very tiny or very thick particles here. So I'm going to like increase the particle count again. And again, I have just one dimension and one degree of freedom, or two degrees of freedom to rotate the coil, but that's enough, you know. Um, but now here's one of my favorite ones, the toroid. The toroid is just very interesting because the particle count, the way that the particles sort of distribute in the system. Now the toroid was kind, it was pretty challenging to get the correct output, and also it didn't really, the music didn't really properly get generated along with the toroid version. But here's my uh, bottle version. So this is like an electromagnetic an EMF battle. It's, it's, it's basically the same geometry as the Helmholtz coil, but it's got a different, if you can tell, different ring structure to the actual particles that follow the fields that are generated. Now these fields aren't 100% in line with the field equations, but you know, they're still, they're, they still have some sort of mathematical logic and geometry to them. But you know, I wouldn't, count on this being replicable in um, an actual physical experiment. But again, another really cool one is the wire, where you can kind of have the field traveling around the wire. wire. Now, now, as you can see, this is sort of incorrect because you should have... The electromagnetic field is maybe more... The electric field is maybe more in line with what's going on here, but the magnetic field would be spinning around the wire uh, you know, so if I have it, this should actually be perpendicular to a wire. It's okay, you know, the effect is really cool. But you can also change the field strength. And reduce the field strength to a very simple one with monotones. And change the particle size back to a reasonable size. And finally, the quadrupole. So, yes. Um, so, we have a lot of options here. And I also created a sort of sequencer where... You know, basically the sound will change as the slider for the sequencer changes. And uh, we can see, yeah, there's also a little bit of momentum here. So we can see the particle distribution shift as we fling around this sequencer. So yeah, um, 
the power of physics is pretty awesome, isn't it? So anyway, if you like my demos, please um, let me know and like, subscribe, and check out the rest of the demos on my channel. I'm going to try to have a new synthesizer tool out um, pretty much every day or every other day. Um, probably every other day or every other week. It takes a little while to make these things, but you know, they're rewarding. Okay, so we'll have a nice day.